Good morning, friends. Uh, myself Kedar Badeka, and today I am taking the lecture of uh, manufacturing process two or manufacturing technology. So, in the previous series of the lecture, uh, we try to understand the various uh, welding processes, right? In the last series of the lecture, it's a I think it's a very long time uh, before we are taking the uh, MP two lecture. Um, and we are discussing the uh, uh, various two processes in the last series of the lecture which is uh, atomic hydrogen uh, welding right or explosive welding so i think you all remember that and uh, in today's series of the lecture we try to discuss the another uh, last three processes of the welding processes which is the ultrasonic welding then the laser beam welding and last which is the electron beam welding so in today's lecture we try to discuss all three welding processes so uh, we just start the discussions on the ultrasonic welding so we are going to discuss what is the ultrasonic welding ultrasonic welding process what is happening in the ultrasonic welding applications advantages and disadvantages so the ultrasonic weldings are covered in the categories of the solid state welding right so uh, uh, we are using uh, the two mediums right uh, in the solid state welding uh, any any of the solid state welding process we are using the uh, joining medium which is the frictional heat right in the frictional heat or the free the frequency of the heat which is very uh, minor and we are applying some kind of the uh, pressure based technologies and uh, we uh, try to create a joining between the two similar or dissimilar metals so what is the ultrasonic welding a high frequency ultrasonic acoustic vibrations are there so there is a some kind of the vibrational heat we are using to create a joining between the two pieces of the metals hold the both surfaces that needs to be welded under the pressures during the processes so finally it's create a solid state weld so here you can see that the one of the process uh, figure of the ultrasonic welding which has covered the uh, three processing stage so uh, what is happening you can see that the yellow and uh, the pink color strips are there uh, we have to create a joining between two of them so how we can uh, uh, create a bonding between them so a horn is applies the pressures to the plastic materials so basically the ultrasonic welding uh, uh, welding process is able to join uh, the weld the joining between the metals as well as the plastic metals so uh, at the same times the horn is vibrates vertically right the one of the horn the, which is just like the one type of the moving uh, linearly moving kind of the electrodes which is vibrates at the frequency of the ultrasonic frequency which is more than the 20,000 hertz right it's two which is limited to the 40,000 hertz the vibrational which is uh, creating the fractional heat that is caused by the material which is to create a uh, softness and that is a flow of the uh, there is a softness flow of the materials between the two materials and the joining which is happens between the two materials so this is the process of the ultrasonic welding so here you can see that the ultrasonic welding process which is covered as a uh, one of the um, electrode you can see that there is a two red strip which is in the lab configurations you can see that uh, from the clamping force and the mass the blue electrode and the transducer which is passing the ultrasounds which is passing the ultrasound frequencies right and due to that ultrasound frequencies there is a up and down motions of the electrode is happens at the ultrasound frequency due to that frequency certain kinds of the frictional heat is developed between the two plates and the lower plate which is become as a stable right which is stationary right i mean at the same time the upper weld mat plates is which can be able to move up and down so due to the, that frictional heat uh, they try to uh, create a soft bonding between the lower plates and the joining between the two plate which is happens 
so this is the ultrasound uh, frequency and the joining due to that is occurs so the ultrasonic welding process in uh, the metal is the welding is occur due to the high pressure dis uh, dispersions of the surface oxides and the local motions of the materials right so although there is a heating it is not enough to melt the base material उसके अंदर जो हीट रहती है ना वो हीट इतनी सफिशेंट हीट नहीं रहती कि उसको वो ए, मैं इसको आसान तरीके से आपको इसीलिए बताया कि वो जो है वो हीट होती है वो इतनी नॉर्मल हीट रहती है फ्रिक्शनल हीट रहती है आप उसको टच करके आ, उसको फील कर सकते हैं उतनी हीट जो है वो फ्रिक्शनल हीट रहती है उसी इसीलिए ये जो वेल्डिंग है ना वो सॉलिड स्टेट वेल्डिंग कैटेगरीज के अंदर जो है वो आ, यहाँ पे लिया जाता है बिकॉज यहाँ पे आप जो है जो ज्वाइनिंग जो होगा वो दो मेटल का वो किसी दो मेटल को मेल्ट करके ज्वाइनिंग जो है वो नहीं डेवलप हो रहा है राइट जो ज्वाइनिंग हो रहा है वो सॉलिड कंडीशन में हो रहा है राइट सो देर इज अ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द अल्ट्रासोनिक वेल्डिंग द फर्स्ट विच इज द स्पॉट वेल्डिंग यू कैन सी दैट वी कैन क्रिएट अ ज्वाइनिंग बिटवीन द टू लैब कन्फिग्रेशन स्प्लेट इन इन अ वेरी स्पॉट मीडियम राइट सो दिस इज दी वन ऑफ दी पेटर्न और वी कैन से दैट वन ऑफ द टाइप्स ऑफ द अल्ट्रासोनिक वेल्डिंग विच इज दिस स्पॉट टाइप ऑफ द अल्ट्रासोनिक वेल्डिंग द सेकेंड विच इज द लाइन टाइप ऑफ द अल्ट्रासोनिक वेल्डिंग इन विच वी कैन ज्वाइन द टू डिफरेंट मेटल्स और टू डिफरेंट कन्फिग्रेशन स्प्लेट इन द लाइन मोड राइट विच इज जस्ट लाइक द सेम वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस सो एट द सेम टाइम दैट इज ए द अनदर वेरियंट विच इज द continuous ultrasonic welding what is happening between the continuous ultrasonic welding the plate which is become as a stable your ultrasonic uh, uh, ultrasonic uh, uh, transducers right the rotating bar of the rotating transducers which is constantly move uh, on the joining lines right where you want to join where where you want to create a joining between the two pieces of the metal so some kind of the solar energy which is connecting from the plates and the continuous welding is uh, developed between the copper to copper plate copper to aluminum plate and aluminum to aluminum plate so uh, in this uh, type of the metal we can uh, create a joining between the ultrasonic welding and last which is the ring type of the ultrasonic welding uh, which is mostly used for the circular kind of the jobs now what is the applications of the ultrasonic welding the ultrasonic uh, weldings are mostly used as a joining between the soft automobile parts like as a uh, plastic and electric component instrument and panel door panels lamps air duct steering wheels then the engine components are also joined with the use of the ultrasonic welding then the diesel injector is joined with the ultrasonic welding then the universal joint yoke is join with the ultrasonic weldings and the gear hub are the applications of the ultrasonic welding now in the medical sector there is also a various scope of the ultrasonic welding the types of the filters now in in the current days we are using some kind of the mask right and uh, to join uh, the to put a filter in the our n95 mask right uh, we can uh, join this kind of the uh we can create a uh, joining of this kind of the uh, filter with the use of the ultrasonic welding then the catheters uh, then the dialysis tubes then the pipeletters the then the cardiometry reservoirs and the face masks are joined with the help of the ultrasonic welding so these are the applications then uh, certain applications in the field of the packaging industries certain applications in the field of the food packaging industries like the milk and the juices containers are joined with the ultrasonic welding because there is a no a strong kind of the joint which is required between the uh, that uh, joining material they required some kind of the uh, we can say that the some kind of the temporary or ultra temporary joints uh, in that beverages right so the paper parts which is to be sealed are coated with the plastics and generally a polypropylene and the poly thins are joints so uh, these are the applications of in the ultrasonic welding uh, so we can say that the aerospace industries wire transmissions electric industries electronics industries twist drills 
drill pipes spindles tappers are joined with the help of the ultrasonic industries now what are the advantages of the ultrasonic welding so as we can try to discuss about the ultrasonic welding these are the advantages of that so there is a no need of the external heat which is required because the heat which is generated due to the transductions of the fluctuations of the transfusion then the second which is the dissimilar materials can be joined then the heat affected zone is to be very minimum the surface deformation is less and there is a no waste of the material is generated very thin material which is to be welded and the weld which is to be localized there is a no defect due to the gases and the arc and the filler metal because we are not using any kind of the third element to joining between the materials and the welding time is very minimum which is lower than the 3 seconds we can uh, create a joints in 3 seconds at the one spot so what are the limitations of the ultrasonic welding so uh, these are the limitations of the ultrasonic welding the thickness of the component adjacent to the uh, sonotrate tips is must be exceeds relatively thin gauges because of the power limitations equipment comparatively expensive the unit of the ultrasonic the equipment cost is initial equipment cost which is very high the weld cannot be withstand which is the higher stresses yani ye jo weld rehta hai na wo kafi sare stresses jo hai wo uh, sustain nahi kar pata hai zyada stresses lage to to wahan se failure hone ke chances zyada rehte hain on a thin and the soft metals is to be welded so this is all about the ultrasonic welding right then the next process which is the laser beam welding process so we are move forwards to the laser beam welding process now what happened with the laser beam welding process we can focused on the a laser beam is focused is used to metal vaporization here the joining between the two metal is happens with the melting of the uh, uh, joint areas and uh, after that the cooling the certain kind of the solidifications due to that the joint which is happens between the two uh, joining metals the vaporized metal is hit the surrounded metals and the depth to width ratio which is greater than the 4 gem 1 so in the laser beam welding has some advantages over an electro beam welding right the vacuum is not required here the uh, the welding is not happens within the uh, uh, in the vacuum chambers right and can be welded inside the transparent containers which is the eye surgeries so here you can see that uh, the process which is uh, showing as the laser beam welding we are focusing on the beam of the lasers on the uh, joining jo joint areas and the joint is developed by vaporizing the jointing joining surroundings areas and after the solidifications the joint uh, between the two similar or dissimilar plates is happens at the localized area so this is the process of the laser beam welding now what is the laser the laser is a an acronym for the light amplifications by the stimulated emissions of the radiations right which is the full name of the laser a laser beam is a powerful narrow and monochromatic directional beam of the electromagnetic radiations so this is one kind of the atomic radiation energy welding often these beams are within the visible spectrum of the life a laser device is exist the atoms in a losing medium the electrons of these atoms move to a higher orbit then release the photons and creating a laser beam so these are the properties of the laser beam a laser beam is a highly intensive in the nature laser beam is having a strictly monochromatic laser light is highly powerful and can capable of the propagating over a long distance and are not easily absorbed by the waters laser beam is also said to be 
highly directional and the beam is the coherence with the wave trains in the fuse with the each other a laser beam welding in general cases the heat is required to fuse the metals for any type of the welding in laser beam welding the process the heat is obtained from the applications of the concentrated coherent light beam which is striking upon a weld metals and melt the metals and such this weld joint is obtained this welding process is called as a laser beam welding process so this is the pro uh, overall process of the laser beam welding now what is the principle of the laser beam welding a laser beam is produced inside a ruby crystals the ruby is one of the radioactive materials the ruby crystal is made of the aluminum oxides with the chromium and dispersed throughout it which is forming about 1 by 2000 of the crystals this less than the neutral ruby a silver is coated mirror are the fetus internally in the both side of the crystals the one side of the mirror has a tiny hole and a beam is come out throughout his hole a flash tube is placed around the ruby crystals which is filled with the xenon inset gas a flash is specially designed such as which is made a flash rate about the 1000 flashes per the seconds the electric energy is converted into the light energy this is worked by the flash tubes the capacitor is provided for storage the electrical energy and supply the high voltage to a flash tube to perform approximately the electric energy is discharged from the capacitors and the xenon transmissions the high energy into a white flash light rate of 1 by 1000 per seconds the chromium atoms of the ruby crystals are excited and the pumps into the high energy due to the heat generated the some of this energy is lost but some of the light energy is reflected mirror to mirror and again the chromium atoms are excited until the loss their extra energy simultaneously to form a narrow beam of the coherent lights which is come out through the one and tiny hole of the crystals mirror the narrow beam is focused by a optical focusing lens to produce a small intense of the lasers on the job here you can see the figure of <coughs> the laser beam welding uh, here the ruby crystal is uh, uh, connected with the power supply as you can start the power supply so due to that that electric energy due to that electric energy the ruby crystal is energized and it is focusing uh, it is it is converting that electric energy into the light beam and that light beam is Uh, passing through the laser beam and that laser beam is focused on the concentrated beam as a concentrated beam is focused on the joining area of the two materials and uh, that beam is high light source of energy and which is uh, uh, melting that surrounding areas of the joinings and due to that melting the vaporizations of the metal is happens and uh, due to that melting parts certain kind of the uh, joining after the solidification certain kind of the joining is happens between the two pieces of the metals now what are the process advantage of the laser beam welding the work with the high alloys metals without the difficulties right and can be used in the open air can be transmitted over a long distance with a minimum loss of the powers there is a nano narrow heat affected zone low total thermal inputs 
weld of the dissimilar metal is possible there is a no filler metal is required as a additionals now what is the what are the limitations of the laser beam welding as we can discuss about the limitations that is the rapid cooling rates is maybe caused that is a cracking inside the joining areas of the two metals then second there is a high investment capital investment cost initially is required for developing the facilities optical surface of the lasers are easily damaged high maintenance cost is uh, to be observed in this process the maximum joint thickness that can be welded by the laser beam welding is somewhat limited so thus the weld penetration is larger than 19 mm r difficult to weld so there is a uh, limitations of the laser beam welding now we can move forwards to the last process of the, today's lecture which is the electron beam welding process so we can move forwards to the electron beam welding process which is the ebm process now what is the introductions of the we start with the introductions of the electron beam welding process now what happen in the electron beam welding process in electron beam welding process is a fusion welding process in which a beam of a high velocity electrons is applied to the two materials to be joined yahan pe jo hai wo ek electron beam jo hai wo jis do metal ko aapko join karna hai us metal ke upar jo hai wo hame focus karke wahan pe usko concentrate karna hai a free electrons in the vacuums can be accelerated with their path which is controlled by the electric magnetic field a narrow beam of electrons which is carrying a high kinetic energy can be forms which upon a collisions with atoms in solids transforms their kinetic energy into the heat how does the process is work in an electron beam welder electrons are boiled off as current is passing through the filaments which is in the vacuum and loss the whole process is done in the vacuum chambers so electrons are emitted from the heated filaments which is called as the electrodes and electrostatic field which is generated by a negatively charged filament and the bias cups and a positively charged anode accelerates the electrons about the 50% to the 80% of the speeds of the lights and shape them into the beam so yahan pe kya hua ki jaise hi wo hai wo anode cathode ki formations ki wajah se jo ek electron beam jo hai wo develop ho raha hai filament mein se wo jo hai wo 50 to 80% speed se light ki speed se wahan se pass hoga अब उसको जो है वो हमें फोकसिंग लेंस से उसको फोकस करके एक बीम में कन्वर्ट करना है जैसे वो बीम में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा विच इज है हाई काइनेटिक एनर्जी वो एकदम वो मोशन के साथ वो जो है वो काइनेटिक मोशन के साथ जो है वो एनर्जी के साथ वो वहाँ पे वो दो पीसेस ऑफ मेटल के ऊपर फोकस करेगा द इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम्स आर कंपोज ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट आर अ चार्ज विच इज पार्शली विच इज हैविंग अ रेस्ट मास ऑफ नाइन tends to 31 pot kg the electrons are accelerated from the source with a high voltage potential differences between the cathodes and anodes the streams of the electrons then pass through a hole of the anodes the beam is directed by the magnetic forces of the focusing and the deflecting coils so this beam is directed out of the gun column and strike the work pieces the kinetic energy of the electrons is transferred to the hit upon impact of the work pieces and cut a perfect hole at the weld joints a molten metal is fills in the behinds of the beams and creating a deep finish weld here you can see there is a uh, process figure of the electron beam welding process आप यहाँ पे देख सकते हैं कि ऊपर जो है वो एक हाई वोल्टेज सप्लाई दिया गया है जहाँ पे जहाँ से जो है वो एनोड कैथोड आप देख सकते हैं एनोड कैथोड 
उस जैसे ही पावर सप्लाई मिलेगा तो वो एनोड और कोथोड जैसे ही वो चार्ज हो गए तो उसमें से जो है वो एक बीम जो है वहाँ से डेवलप्ड होगा वो जो बीम है वो पॉजिटिवली इलेक्ट्रिक पावर सप्लाई इसकी वजह से जो है वो चार्ज हो जाता है अब जैसे ही वो चार्ज हो जाएगा तो वो एक काइनेटिक वेलोसिटी के साथ आप देखोगे एक बीम के फॉर्म में जो है वो नीचे की तरफ आ रहा है राइट right? अब उस बीम को हमें फोकस करना पड़ेगा आप फोकस कैसे कर सकते हैं तो फोकस करने के लिए हमारे पास जो है वो वहाँ पे एक एडजस्टमेंट कॉयल दिया गया है विच इज़ दी मैग्नेटिक कॉयल अब मैग्नेटिक और इलेक्ट्रिक दोनों की वजह से जो है वहाँ पे उसको एक डायफ्राम की तरह से जो आप फोकसिंग कॉयल और डिफ्लेक्टिंग कॉयल्स दिए हैं राइट right? उस कॉयल को जो है वो उस इलेक्ट्रो बीम को जो है वो हमें डायफ्राम और कॉयल की जो है उसको एडजस्ट करके उस बीम को वहाँ पे हमें फोकस करना है अब आ, उस फोकस वाली जगह से आप देखिए कि जैसे वो बीम फोकस होके जो हमें हमारे आ, एक मेटल पीसेस के ऑब्जेक्ट के ऊपर पड़ेगा तो उस बीम की वजह से जो उसकी काइनेटिक वेलोसिटी है उसकी वजह से जो है वो जैसे ही वो बीम जो है वो फोकस के साथ वो मेटल को हीट करेगा उसका टकराएगा तो उसके बीच जो है वो एक तरीके से इलेक्ट्रॉन की वजह से वो जो है वो हीट डेवलप होगा और हीट की जगह से जो है वो वहाँ पे एक पूरे वैक्यूम चैम्बर के अंदर जो है वो वहाँ से वेपर जो है वो हीट होके वेपराइज होके वहाँ से जो है वो दो पीसेस ऑफ मेटल के बीच जो है वो वहाँ पे जॉइनिंग करेगा अब इसके लिए जो है वो यहाँ पर आपका पूरा आ, जो सेटअप है वो सेटअप जो है वो फिक्स रहेगा राइट right? यहाँ पे जो वर्कपीस रहता है वो 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 जो है वो मूवेबल रहता है राइट right? बाकी का सारा जो है वो प्रोसेस पूरा प्रोसेस जो है वो वैक्यूम चैम्बर के अंदर आ, आ, जो है वो पूरी तरीके से एक क्लोज चैम्बर के अंदर आ, जो है वो हमें ऑब्जर्व होता है और इसी तरह के से इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम बिल्डिंग जो है यहाँ से हमें ऑब्जर्व होता है तो इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम जो है वो इस एक तरीके से जो इलेक्ट्रॉन गन किसको बोलते हैं तो यहाँ पे इलेक्ट्रॉन गन आप देखिए जो एनोड और केथोड है वो फोकस करके जो इलेक्ट्रॉन डेवलप करते हैं वो पॉजिटिवली जो है वो एक एनर्जी डेवलप करते हैं विच इज़ डिजिग्नेटेड एज ए इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और वो गन में से जो है वो फोकस करके उसको हमें एडजस्ट करके यानी एक तरीके से हम लोग जो बोल सकते हैं कि जो फिलामेंट है हमारे पास तो जो फिलामेंट है हमारे पास विच इज़ वन टाइप ऑफ दी वन टाइप ऑफ दी अवर इलेक्ट्रॉन गन राइट देन देर इज अ टू टाइप्स ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन गम विच इज द फर्स्ट विच इज द सेल्फ एसलेटेड एंड द वर्क एसलेटेड द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर एसलेटेड बाई द अप्लाइंग द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कैथोड एंड एनोड राइट विच इज कॉल्ड एज ए सेल्फ एसलेटेड गन एंड सेकेंड विच इज द वर्क एसलेटेड द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन अप्लाइड बिटवीन द वर्क पीस एंड एनोड विच इज कम सम सर्टन काइंड ऑफ द डायो टाइप्स ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन गन Now focusing electron beam, it has a two part. Electron which is focusing lens and the deflection coil. The electron focusing lens is focusing a beam into the work area. The deflection coil, which is position positioned below the magnetic lens and can be amplified to bend the beam, thus providing the flexibility is to move a focused beam on the spot. Now the vacuum chambers. So. जनरली द इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम बिल्डिंग इज परफॉर्म इन द वैक्यूम चैम्बर सो वैक्यूम इन द गन इज द रीजन इज नीडेड टू मेंटेन अ गन कंपोनेंट क्लीनिनेस प्रिवेंट द फिनाले फिलामेंट्स ऑक्सीडेशन एंड दर इज द इम्पिड हाई प्रेशर शॉर्ट सर्किटिंग बिटवीन द कैथोड्स एंड एनोड्स और द फिलामेंट्स एंड द ग्रीड कप्स सो दिज आर द स्टेप्स ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम बिल्डिंग प्रोसेस फर्स्ट वी हैव टू Uh, apply the joint preparations uh, between the joining of the two pieces then the cleaning of the work pieces then the fixturing of the work pieces then the demagnetization of the work pieces fifth which is the setting of the work pieces in the chamber vacuum chamber then the chamber is to be closed and the pump down from the form chambers and carrying a welding process so there are the four process parameter the first which is the accelerating voltage second which is the beam current third which is the welding speed at the which speed the beam is to be accelerated on the uh, joining pieces of the metals and the fourth which is the beam focusing now 
what are the advantages of the electron beam welding we can join the welding uh, in the thin or thick plate which is the 0.1 mm in the bias extremely narrow there is a seam we can observe there is a lower heat input so there is a low chance of the heat distortions and the welding is completely uh, possessed in the component there is a high welding speed is to be possible there is a no need of the shielding gas then a high process and the plant efficiency is to be there and the material dependency often is only the welding method now uh, which is the advantages when the welding which is happens in the kind of the vacuum conditions now the welding which is uh, happens in the atmospheric condition there is a uh, high welding velocities and second which is there is a go good uh, gap breedings no problem with reflecting during the energies enters into the work pieces so what are the disadvantages of the electron beam welding or the limitations of so the electric conductivity of the material which is to be required the non conductive materials we can't weld with the electron beam welding process then there is a high cooling rate and the hardening of the cracks high precision of the seam preparation is there the beam is may be deflected by the magnetisms extra formations the size of the workpiece limited by the chamber size and the high investment so the material which is favorable with the electron beam welding process is the most of the types of the steel aluminum and its alloys magnesium alloys copper and its alloys titanium tungsten gold material combinations like the copper plus uh, copper zinc uh, combinations bronze and steel combinations ceramics which is the electric conductive are to be uh, possible to be welded by the electron beam welding process and what is the applications of the electron beam welding process mostly electron beam welding process is used to join the reflectory materials like the columbium tungsten ceramics uh, we can join with the ebw then there is a high precision welding of the electronics components high precision welding of the nuclear fuel elements special alloys components of the jet engines pressure vessels rockets joining of the dissimilar metals and the welding of the titanium and the medical implants we can use with the uh, electron beam welding process so this is all about the electron beam welding process in today's lecture uh, we try to discuss the three processes in this lecture which is the ultrasonic welding electron beam welding and the uh, laser beam welding so i think you hope i i hope uh, you all are understand this three process very well uh, if you have some certain down just try to understand this video and carefully listen to this video uh, at least one or two time so you can uh, get the uh, true knowledge of these three welding processes um, rather than if you have certain kind of the difficulty you can ask me in the comment sections i will solve definitely solve your queries in the next series of the lectures so uh, please write your under enrollment numbers after watching this video in comment sections of this video